Welcome, this is the Winko 13 inch magnetic knife holder. Label 13 inch magnetic knife tool rack. I decided it was time to get my kitchen organized, so I ordered this. It arrived yesterday at the time I'm making this review. So taking out of the box, we see we've got our magnetic strip. We also have everything we need to get installed, which, which is just two screws and two drywall fasteners. It looks pretty simple. So let's take our measurements first of all. Now the box advertises this as a 13 inch knife holder. It actually measures in just over 13 inches and this is going to be important because you want to make sure it fits where you're planning to install it. it measures in at 13 and 7 sixteenths of an inch. Almost 13 and a half inches. So make sure you have room, make sure you've taken your measurements beforehand. I'm going to be breaking up this uh, review into three parts. First I'm going to talk about functionality. Then I'm going to talk about installation. And finally I'm going to talk about value. First, let's talk about functionality. We can see the even though the knife bar itself measures just over 13 inches, the actual magnets on it the surface on which you can attach your knives measures in just 12 inches. I think this is um, one of the drawbacks of this uh, knife holder. I would have liked for them to make a little bit more efficient use of the space. Maybe extend these strips all the way to the end. Given that this is such a small item, it would be great to have the extra inch and a half so of uh, storage space. Now let's take a look at how well a knife actually sticks to this holder. Over here I have my 8 inch Winko Achero chef knife and we can see that right away it just clicks right in there and it seems pretty solid I uh, I can't move it around very easily definitely seems like it'll work one of the biggest complaints that folks have with these magnetic knife holders is that the knives have a tendency to kind of slide and creep downwards and I can tell before I even install this that it's not going to be a problem with this one. So let's uh, take a break now and when I come back I will have this mounted. Welcome back. As you can see we are finished with the installation. And it turned out great. I've got no complaints whatsoever. Pretty much exactly how I wanted it to uh, look. Just like this. One thing I want to draw your attention to, which I think is really clever, the screws. See these screws over here and how if I slide the knife forward, the blade doesn't tack onto the screw here. The screw sits in a nice groove and it's, um, it goes in there. So if your knife, if you accidentally slide it over it, you won't damage it. It's a very, very good idea. I like it. Now let's look at how it actually holds onto the knives as well. Notice this big 12 inch chef knife holds it on nice and secure. It doesn't move by itself at all. It's not going to fall off unless I pull it off. You can hear it has a nice click when we put it back on there. It doesn't seem to have any problem with these knives over here. They all latch on very well. Now these are a little more solid. So I went through my drawers and I found some old knives. We're going to put all of these on there and see how it behaves. Starting with some really, really cheap ones. Look at that. Goes right on there. This one works too. We have some Walmart knives, some dollar store knives. All of these, they work just fine. Just as well as we saw with the nicer knives. Now, one thing I did notice that I want to draw your attention to doesn't work for this one here. So this uh, honing steel, you can see it tries to latch onto it, but because of the round shape, it just it doesn't hold onto it. It has its limits. But for knives, it works perfectly. Also, this is a breeze to clean. Very, very, very easy. All you do, you take your towel, just wipe it down. It's nice and clean. Still had a little bit of dust from the insulation. You can see that goes away very fast. Now we can get, now we can get all our equipment right back on there without a problem. 
Now let's talk about the insulation. The insulation for this item was very, very straightforward. I did something a little bit more customized where I cut a groove into here to get to fit really nice and tight against the cabinet. I trimmed off this end to give me a little bit more space to work with. I really, really wanted to mount it right over here because this is where I work with uh, my knives where I do all my prep right by the sink. It's just the most convenient spot. Unfortunately, it's a rather narrow area, so I needed to tilt it a little bit, but it still turned out great. When you install this at home, you can probably just install, install it horizontally and it'll be a lot easier. In this case, I uh, mounted it right against the cabinet, which is wood, so I didn't need to use the drywall anchors. If you mount it against the wall, then you're going to need to drill in a slightly bigger hole and hammered the drywall anchors in there before you fasten this um, item to it. Now the one drawback I did mention before, the overall length of this item is slightly higher than specified. Keep that in mind while you're planning where to install it. It's just over 13 and a half, well it's almost 13 and a half inches when it's uh, claimed to be 13 inches. Finally, let's talk about value. This item is very affordable. It's only about $4 uh, last I checked and it performs very well. Look at this, no sliding, no movement. This is excellent. Very, very happy with this purchase. I strongly recommend it. I hope this review was helpful. If you have any questions or feedback, let me know and I will be happy to address it.